Tonight's sports is proudly sponsored by the Box Event Center and Box Elder. Check out the box.live for complete event listings and more. This is Black Hills Fox Sports, sponsored by the Box Event Center. Hello everyone, the uh, Sturgis and Lee Deadwood girls basketball teams are focused on playing well in the second half of the season. That's right, Vic, just one combined win between the Scoopers and Gold Diggers that hit the court tonight for a big matchup in Sturgis. It's been over a year since Lee Deadwood got its last win. They've been close on many occasions, but look to get over the hump tonight. The Scoopers, though, had other plans. Taylor Price gets the steal on defense and takes it coast to coast for the right-handed layup. Then sophomore Tori Williams connects with Avery Long on the far side for a triple. It's nothing but net for the Scoopers. She drills the three. For Sturgis, two is better than one this time. Long passes up another three and instead gets it to Taylor Price, who drills this three ball on the near side. The Gold Diggers can't keep up. Price now takes it all the way to the cup. Her layup is long. But Kira Killinger is there for the follow. It's 25 to 1. Sturgis up 20 in that first and into the second quarter. With four minutes remaining in the second quarter, Delaney Matson delivers Lee Deadwood's first basket of the evening. But after four quarters, Sturgis wins big 66 to 12, the final. Out east tonight, Dakota Valley played on the road at Tri-Valley. The Panthers look to stretch their winning streak to 62 games at 61 heading into tonight. The Panthers waste no time going inside to Jackson Wiegert. Two points plus the foul. Dakota Valley goes up three to nothing early on. After a stop, Jackson Cleese goes to his other big man. Six foot seven Grant Vanderholt. Easy pickings barely a minute into the contest and the Panthers are already up five to nothing. Tri-Valley calls a timeout. Dakota Valley had too much firepower. Logan Collette with a straightaway bomb for three. The Panthers do, and win, do indeed win their 62nd game, 86 to 52 the final. Now here's Vic with some more action for us. Thanks, Andrew. Pretty impressive stuff there. Now elsewhere in boys hoop, Stevens defeated Watertown 41-37 tonight. And Central squeaked out a 57-56 victory over Brookings. The Spearfish boys picked up a 56-45 victory over Red Cloud. Little Wound took care of Wakpala 76-62. In girls hoops, Stevens defeated Watertown 55-50. Central knocked off Brookings 78-67. The Red Cloud girls kept things rolling with a 63 53 victory over Spearfish. Hill City knocked off at Dubrook 48 to 30. Let's head on to the ice. The rush at home tonight to take on Idaho in the uh, first period. Idaho's Ty Pelton Bice fires the shot. It's redirected in front. That's dangerous, but Rat Matt Radomski able to uh, make the stop and cover the puck up. Still no score. Four on four hockey. Blake Bennett gets the puck to Will Rydell, and he fires it home for the goal. His first of the season rush on the board. Steelheads looking for the equalizer. Willie Kinnear working behind the net. Tries the wraparound and he crams it in for the goal. He had quite the game. Four goals tonight for Kinnearum. Tied at one. Idaho on the power play. But it's Keanu Yomamoto breaking in. Fires the shot. Brian Thompson makes the stop. He had a had quite the game in net as well. Tight Pelton Bice drops the puck off for Will Merchants. He unleashes the shot. Matt Radomski flashes the leather, makes a nice glove save. But this game belongs to Idaho as it wins. Five to two. Andrew has a couple more scores for us. Yeah, Vic in college hoops. The Black Hill State men came up on the short end, falling to Colorado Mesa, 80 to 57. The Yellow Jacket women dropped a tight game, also to Mesa, 53 to 51. All right, more uh, more high school basketball scores for you in girls hoops. It was Lyman over Bennett County, 84-26. Custer beat Newell, 69-47. Hot Springs girls won. Faith girls won. Have more boys score for you in a half hour over on the Friday night frenzy over on Coda. That's a look at sports.